Zell Boy Army, what is up? It is your boy here, Zalonis. We're my man, Ainsley, and we're here today to show you five cheap beasts from La Liga. <laughs> yeah, boy. If you like this content, smash the like button, please. Comment, let me know what content like this you'd like to see in the future. And most importantly of all, subscribe to the channel. There's lots of great content coming your way. Me and Ainsley are excited about it. So without further ado, let's show you your cheap beasts. Boys, here we are. These are my five cheap beasts for La Liga. We've got Bakambu at striker, Ben Yedder at striker, Guadrado, Daniel Vaz at centre mid, and we've got Nelson Semedo at right back. Some of these might seem more obvious than others. I'm going to go for each one of them and explain to you why I think these are cheap beasts that you need to pick up in your La Liga team on FIFA 18. So, we'll start with Bakambu. Cedric Bakambu, he's six foot. We know that FIFA 18 heading is probably going to be OP. Crossing's a new mechanic on the game. Every, every single year when they do some new mechanism, it is always the best thing it seems. Crossing probably is not going to be different. It was so bad last year, it's going to be OP this year. So, I think tall strikers are going to be an advantage. The Canby's not like a target man, but he's pretty solid in the air. And he's going to have nearly 90 pace. He can dribble, he's got a solid shot. Four star weaker foot. I imagine his FIFA 18 rate is going to be pretty similar. He's a pretty good player in real life. He's from a very random nation compared to a lot of the other ones. So he's going to be very cheap. You're not going to have much problem picking him up early on. And he will be able to fire your team to glory. Ben Yedder. This boy might be a little bit more expensive at the start of FIFA. He's French. Five star weaker foot is absolutely invaluable. I cannot tell you how much how just important that is. Five star weak foot just changes the game. It means your opponent doesn't know which foot to put you onto. We all know what Son was like on FIFA 17. He haunted me in every night, man. It was just horrible playing against Son. Um, ben Yedder, he's not Son, but he's got pace, good, good dribbling. He can pass the ball, which is underrated. He can shoot. He's got good skill moves, so he can do the scoop turn, which I find invaluable. He's not too weak either. But the five-star week of foot with a very good all-round card. And French for hybrid teams. Ben Yedder is your boy. Guadrado. Well, this one comes with a disclaimer. I'm not entirely sure what level Guadrado is going to be going into the new FIFA. But he is an incredibly good centre mid. That's box to box. If you look at that card, very good pace for a midfielder. He can dribble, he can pass. His defence, physical and shooting are all pretty solid. He's a very good all-round box to box midfielder. He's Mexican, pretty, that's going to make him pretty cheap. He's in La Liga, so he's in a very good nation. And he's going to be lower down the pecking order on most people's like ideal list of players they want in the team. So this boy's going to be cheap, but he will be a very solid box-to-box -box player. These are the type of players you want in your midfield on FIFA. Daniel Vass, look at that card. 570 plus stats. He's probably going to be the same on the new FIFA. He's got a pretty cool haircut looking at him. You can appreciate that. Three star, three star. It's not bad. Solid all round work rates. He's a very good card. I used him a bit on this year's FIFA. Really liked him. He's the type of midfielder you want. Again, the box to box, physically all round midfielders are really useful. Daniel Vass, cheap beast. I highly recommend him. Our last one Nelson Semedo. The leak that I saw had Nelson Semedo as a level 79. That's pretty low for what he, he's going to be. He's going to have 92, 93 pace. He's not that weak. He can pass it alright. He's a very good dribbler. He's the type of fullback that FIFA people love. He's absolutely lying. He's basically the Bellerin of La Liga. Portuguese isn't a bad nation. Because he's at Barcelona and he's so quick, I do think he might be a bit expensive at the start. But he's a level 79, so his drop rate is not going to be really high. Bellerin wasn't that expensive at the start, he was maybe 10 to 20 grand and he was Prem and Spanish. So Semedo, I don't think he's going to actually be too expensive for how good he'll be. He will be one of the best fullbacks in the game. He's not going to be like super cheap, but for what he delivers, he will be super cheap. Nelson Semedo, I highly recommend. I think he's going to be quality on this year's FIFA. He could be like one of the best players for the value, in my opinion. You could make it into a dream team. So, there you have it boys, we've got Bakambu, Ben Yedder, Guadada, Vass, 
Nelson Semedo. Those are the Zellboy Army's five tips for cheap beasts in La Liga this year. Ainsley, you happy with them, my man? <laughs> yeah, boy. If Ainsley's happy, I'm happy. Check them out, boys. Like, comment, subscribe. Means a lot. Zelonius out.